So Alex, I think probably everyone sitting in this room has probably been inspired by his artwork at, uh, at some time or other in their life. So uh, without any uh, further uh, talking on my part, I'll give you Alex Gray. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. All the community here that turned out at Infinite Chaos, I'm deeply honored. Allison and I are completely blown away by Kenji's uh, putting together a party at the very last minute. It's an extraordinary event. Uh, thank you, Kenji. Uh, This is a historic night for me and my wife, Allison. It was 28 years ago today that I first took LSD and, and that we met each other. Allison. It was uh, kind of our psychedelic anniversary. Now, this was the person that Allison knew, a very strange man who was sort of uh, confused by the delusions of of duality and uh, it was uh, LSD that really flipped me into another dimension and a new possibility my first acid trip 28 years ago The LSD came from my old art professor, uh, who Allison and I uh, both were friends with. And uh, I came to a party that was given by Allison. And uh, we were not together at that time, but I was tripping when I came in the door. And I had a half a bottle of Kahlua in it with LSD and I told her what was in the bottle and she drank the other half. I had never tripped before and so I went and sat down on a couch and when I closed my eyes I started to see this amazing turning. The whole space around me had seemed to be spinning. Now, all that year I had been doing performances about polarities, about duality, about being caught between the light and the dark, between the male and the female, between good and evil all these polarities that seem to be in constant conflict in our world and in my mind and in my heart things were getting torn up I made a challenge to God earlier that morning that if there was such a thing as God I wanted I wanted it to appear in my life because I was desperately searching for something. And so when my professor offered me the LSD, I said, why not? And as I sat there on the couch with my eyes closed, Looking inside, there was a tunnel 
that was emerging and it was spinning spinning around I was in the dark I knew I was in the dark but I was going toward the light I could see a light just around the corner it was something I wanted to go toward this light this light was like the possibility of everything working when I felt like the world was completely fucked up the light held a promise I was circling spiraling in this vortex and I began to notice that though I was in the dark I was moving toward the light and there was a gray kind of shading that went all the way from the deep shadow into the light and for me this signaled a kind of a rebirth this was my spiritual rebirth canal because the polarities could become each other there was a unity a polar unity that was the real truth it wasn't everything at war it was ultimately everything was one and this light that I was moving toward seemed to be the light that was at the core of all the world's religions and so my first reaction to that was woohoo I had, uh, I had never been happy before that, in a deep sense, in a sense that the universe is a perfect place, just exactly as it is. And I had that unusual sense of joy from that space. And I started to see how all the religions were really talking about the same thing. It wasn't just some kind of incandescent bulb that I was going toward. It was some light at the core of all spiritual truth and that everyone I knew had access to with the right catalyst. Everybody who came